All right, sup nerds, in this question, they're asking for the most economical state assignment for the given state table. Um, I already wrote down the state table right here. So your first step is to make sure you have these memorized, these steps here, it's very important. Without these steps, you won't be able to do the question. That won't be given to you in the question, you're just expected to know it. Okay, so for, for the first step here, it says, um, states which have the same next state for a given input should be given adjacent assignments. So you're going to do step one. You're going to look and you're going to see which next states repeat. And you're going to match them with the present state. So here for x equals zero, you have b and b. And then their present states are a and b. So you're going to put a, b here. You look at x equals zero and x equals one separately. You don't look at them. You don't like cross over. So you don't do this c and this c and this c repeat. So it's A, B, E. No, you don't do that. You look at your X equals 0 and X equals 1 separately. So you have A, B. And then now we also have D and D. So C, D. Put a comma, C, D. Okay, now I'm done with my X equals 0. Look at my X equals 1. I have C and C. So A, B repeats itself twice. So I'm just going to write it out here just to show all my work. And then I'll do my next step. I'll like make this line simpler. Okay, now I look at now E, A, and D, they don't, nothing repeats anymore, so now I'm done. So I can rewrite this line here as 2 times A, B, because A, B repeats itself twice, and then I have C, D. That's how I'd write that. So now the second step says states, which are the next states for a given state, should be given adjacent assignments. So you're just going to go through and write... Um, like for A, the next states are B, C, right? So you're just going to put B, C. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now for B, the next states are B, C again. So you're going to put B and C. That's it. And then C, just going to be D and E. I'm just writing the next states for every present state that I have. This is probably like the easiest step out of all of them. So now for D, I have D, A. And then for E, I have C, D. Now I can simplify this one and I can write 2 times BC because BC repeats itself twice. And I have DE and I have DA. That should be helpful if you write them in order. So AD and then I have CD. Okay, that's it. Now my third step. I have states which have the same output for a given input should be given adjacent assignments. So I just look here and I have 0 here for the output and I have 0 here for the output. So I'm going to write the present states that correspond with these outputs so it's a e so i'm going to put a here and e here and now i have all these ones so i have b c and d so b c and d that's it i finished my steps now hopefully that makes sense um it's pretty straightforward if you understand the english behind the steps Okay, so now I need my K-map for this problem to get my present states assignments. So I need numbers, right? So here's my K-map. I have Q1, Q2, and Q3. So I'm going to look. I have... Let's do this one first, right? Because that's our first step, is to optimize um, by going in order. That's how we're going to get the most economical state assignment. So I can see here that I have two x here, like two times. So I know that one's my more important one, so I'm going to fill that one in first. Let me just fill these numbers in. Okay. So I have a, b two times, so I'm going to put a, b here because it's most important. And then I have c, d. Uh, I'm just going to put CD, and then if I look now in step 2, I have this. So BC is more important than everything because it repeats itself twice, and I have BC already the way it is. Now I have DE, and then I also have AD. So if I actually move this D that I wrote here next to A, I can get my AD as well. And now I need DE, so I'm going to put E right here. And then I have CD, I have BC, I have CD up here, and I have AB. So these are all done. Now AE, I can't really get without compromising these. So I don't really like care to try to get it. Because if I 
get this over this, then my answer is wrong. Because I'm supposed to prioritize step 2 over step 3. And then as for B, C, D, you can't group in 3's. You can only group in pairs or in 4's. Right? So, I don't, I can't get this. And I can't get this either. So that's fine. So, now I can get my actual numbers. And then the rest here are don't cares. So now I can get the numbers for my, um... A, B, C, and D. So I'm just gonna write them here. So so A is right here. It's zero, zero, zero. So zero, zero, zero. That's my Q1, Q2, and Q3. My B is zero, zero, one. My D is or my C is zero, one, one. My D is zero, one, zero. My E is 1, 1, 0. So what do I do now with these numbers? I'm going to take these numbers. And I'm going to put them. Let me get rid of these. You put them right here next to it. Like that. And then that's your answer. I mean... You don't really have to put them next to it, but that's how you write your table. 